Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. We have got a lot to get done this episode. In fact, I'm going to hit pause for a second here. Normally by this first night, I have already got defense walls up on both sides, and made of stone even, so not just dirt, and you know, a little bit, not necessarily down here by the first night. Second day is probably when I get down below ground. So I spent a lot of time last time talking and explaining and didn't really get into playing the game. Though I do see that the sun is on its way back up. So we didn't get the big attack from both sides that we will probably get this next night. So by then we need to get defense walls up. I need to make a home down here. Use the, uh, oh, I think it was called a talisman up on the wall, which designates this as a home door on top. Get some beds made so they can heal in them and uh, some tables and food on the tables, including these apples that drop out of the trees as your, your base level foods. And we need to make some torches and get this area lit up because dark areas underground are not friendly areas. Things start to appear. You don't want dark areas if you can avoid it. So with all that said, let's see what trouble we can get into. I did turn some, well, I turned my mic up a little bit and I turned the, uh, the game sounds. It did a lot of volume adjusting, so we'll see how it comes out this time. A little quiet last time. Didn't uh, didn't like that. Anyway, craft. What do we need to get torches? Torches are the, basically the home tab, we'll, we'll call it. Torches are right here. And we're out of wood. Okay, so we need, tor we need wood for torches. That comes out of here. So where are we? We're in this one right here. Basic illuminating. You can make torches out of resin and wood from the trees, or you can try to remember where you get the slime. Certain monsters, certain goblins, or what have you, will drop slime. And magic light. We'll go ahead and let's uh, let's drop into that. Hit my control button, bring the light down here. So you'll get a bonus to this bar right here if you just give magic light a try, just to see what it's like. So we could grab this one. It's going to take one of our mana in there and pop it into here. And it'll give you basically a, you know, a light source in a dark area for a while. So that's what's up there. And we need wood. We're bringing wood now. We're chopping all these trees. Let's take that tree out. This would be a great place to put our wall at this end. And is that good enough? I think so. I think we've got enough. Although we definitely will need the... Uh, the vines right here. We'll use that for, uh, uh, let's see, craft and the... don't have it yet. Our armor, I believe we'll use that. The beds will use that. Don't have the beds yet, so that's all next level. Okay, so when we get to level four, we'll get into that. I see. Right now we just need wood and a chicken. Eggs. I think feathers. I'm trying to remember what the feathers were used for. I just got done playing some uh, Seven Days to Die, and there the feathers are obvious, but I'm trying to remember what feathers are for here. Do we have them in our in our uh, inventory yet? Do not. Okay, maybe it was just eggs. Too many games in my head. Anyway, wood is coming in. Mac, there's a pile of it right there. So craft and home tab and torch. Yes. Need a wood. We need a resin. With that, we'll get four torches each time. Let's do 12. There we go. Drop that either manually into here or certain ones of these will automatically drop into there when you tab out of it. All right there. Grab him. And you want these every four or five spaces away from each other. Um, I'm going to do it right there. One, two, three. Here's something that has popped in from into the dark. We've got to clear all that out. One, two, three, four. We'll go fives. Something like that, which means one, two, three, four. Right here is where that goes. Take him out. You guys can get some practice taking out the, uh, uh, the snails. They call them... They don't call them snails in this game, do they? Let me think about that. Bestiary. They call them slugs, I'm pretty sure. Slugs. But snails are the ones with the shells. I think they made a mistake there. And these roots right here will be used to make potions. 
Right now he's he's attacking the, the snail and drop the slime that we need to make the slime torches. Ah, okay. But the... I'm trying to remember which potion it was that uses the... Uh, uh, I'm not going to give me a name. The roots right there. One way you can get the roots... I'm going to put that there. That... Uh, come on now. Grip and hold. Right there. Move you to there. Ladders and torches you use a lot. Um, dirt you'll use a lot, and stone you'll use a lot. So down here on the hot bar is important for those. Um, what was I saying? I can take the dirt, click on the root, and it'll ask me if I want to replace the root. It'll grab a dirt ball, run down there, and pick away at it, and pull the roots out and put dirt in this place. Under attack, that's probably a tree mite. Yeah, not a biggie. Okay, so we're practicing on those. We're getting the basic materials. Grab the, the dirt that was had dropped down here and did the job right there. I'm going to clean this out. The reason that I want to put these on the ground is because I'm actually going to make this three high. Like so. They can only reach up to two, though. They stand here, they pick at this one, they can't reach this. So I do two high, then I come down to the third row, rather than drop ladders every two or three spaces all the way down here. And I guess while I'm here, let's have them... Let's see, it's a left click. Replace these roots. I didn't get to use my, my mana again, darn it. And we've got another dwarf coming in, and a slime and a bone. Just to make sure we get to use the uh, the slime torch. I, I never use them, but it does give you points to at least build one. And I think this is new to this episode. I don't remember seeing it last time. It started at 45 minutes. So at zero, we will have a portal open up. And all kinds of excitement is going to come out of that portal. So that'll be exciting. That's probably toward the end of next episode, if I'm doing something like 30-minute episodes. Um, ready? Ready. So click and replace, click and replace. Uh, let's do the rear first. So rear would be at this level here instead of the front. So she'll do the rear, and then she will do, well, someone will do the front one right there. So sometimes it's two layers deep. Otherwise, we just got a new... Who do we have, by the way? We just got... That's Liv. And Helene. And Esther. Esther is new. Okay. Esther just joined us. There's Skaggy. And Liv. So Skaggy is the only guy in this uh, tribe of, of, uh, of, of women dwarves. Huh. That's interesting. Lucky guy. Anyway... Let's clean up the carpenter's book. We'll use that on somebody. And what more to be doing? Well, a thousand things to be doing right now. And and I am busy talking instead of doing any of them. Let's grab these trees. Let's take this down one more time. And let's start putting in... Let's see here. I can't do that. Okay. So first of all, let's take this down. Eventually... I can't do that either. I can do it here, though. We'll do that. That's about how high I want this wall to be. Um, they're going to go away after a while, after you can no longer reach them. The game times out, says you can't get up there and deal with that. I'm going to go ahead and put some ladders in. We do have wood now, so craft, ladder, right there. I can make 23 of them. Let's make... Actually, there's another way to do this, using this guy right here. Let's um, let's close. Well, we just finished a tech tree, but we don't need to go see it. And let's close that. Let's do this a different way. Let's grab this, put this guy here and here. And now they will use the portal to bring dirt over and start filling these in up above. What I want to do is put a wooden wall behind and then a stone wall in front. And we also want to replace this one right here. Actually, probably both of these with with stone. Actually, uh -oh. all three of these with stone. Hmm. Okay, we tried to climb a tree. That didn't work. There we go. Let's... I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Let's take this one out. It's going to fill up with water, though, but it's just going to have to do. Let's get a stone in front, though. Build stone, build stone. 
and they'll stand on that stone to get to the ones above and that'll get rid of the, the warning there. And apparently, um, Helene is not much of a swimmer. We didn't have a equip a swimmer book, did we? We know we have a cookbook and a carpenter book. So Helene needs to be and a climber. Not much of a climber either. <laughs> There's skills you can give them to do that. But we've got a nighttime already coming. So let's continue working here. I want hmm. We'll replace that later. Let's get stone in there and there and there. There and there. And just these two for the moment. And let's add an additional timer for that. Let's quickly get over to probably right here. We'll do one there and one there. Dirt. Those. I also need to craft a lot of things to be doing kind of almost simultaneously here. I need another one of these. And did that work? Yeah. And let's equip. Who is the new one? Esther. Who has only the basic stone knife. So double click on each of these. That gets her set up for the for the night. We still need to work on... I wonder if they're here yet. The next level hit. We do have, yes. Wooden armor requires rope, which we've got to click on. Get from, click on, wool, which comes from the sheep. And we're getting needles, we're getting grain, we're getting chitin. That might be snail shells. I kind of think it is. And chitin is used for the helmet, right? No, it's just wood and leaves for the helmet. Okay. Anyway, we're not going to get to that tonight. But luckily they can stand in the portal and do this stuff. Let's hang around long enough to put this one here. And this one here. They can jump out and go up and do those other things. I should have set this one up one more space. I didn't. But that will be fine. And how's this one coming along? They kind of gave up on that one. Okay, let's put one more in there just to get that done. And there and there. And that'll be a quick defense against anything walking in from this direction. What do we have walking our way? I'm hearing noises. Ah. Yeah. What would be the male version of Big Bertha? Because that's what he is. <laughs> Alright, so we're working in here. Let's stone... Uh-huh. That's not good, guys. Alright, let's just give you another portal so that we don't have to, to fight this. Alright, give me a stone there. Not enough stone to the stockpile. What? Try that again. It should only take one. There we go. Build stone. Build stone. Now we're out. So let's set up the portal back over here again. We'll do three of them. Let's take out this row and that row. Except for that one so they can get up to it again. Need to get more stone. Otherwise, we're going to be... Ah, he can't get over this anyway. If some, if a skeleton had come in, he would have acted as a ladder and he would have jumped up and come on over and visit us. Though we're, we have enough done here to be able to keep him out. They've got to climb up at least to here to get in. So we're kind of protected now. Here comes these guys. Hmm. Well, let's get... Yeah, we do, I've lost our portal, so we'll wait for another time. What are these guys going to do? They're going to pound on that. Interesting. And they're going to let all the water in, too. Well, what happens if I do this? Build stone. Curious to see if we will still attempt to do that. Jump in there, hop out here, put this in. Oh, that didn't work too well, did it? Hmm. What I can do, although I think we'll be fine. We got that built. Okay, let's attack this guy. Oh, hello. All right, let's give you a way home. You go home that way. And we'll attack this guy. They'll all come pouring out of here, and we'll, we'll just clean these guys up. Gives them experience, and gives them a, a sense of a comp. Five already? See, these first levels go by so fast. That's why I like to dump these portals all over the map and use these up, because I've already wasted so much mana. Later on, you'll never find enough. 
it, the, it's convenient to drop a portal down in a tunnel down here so you don't have to walk the ladder all the way back up to drop off and go all the way back down. You want to drop a portal in there and they'll just you know, zip back and forth. So you'll find you're using the portal spell a lot and you run out of mana so quick. So then you've got to uh, do other things to upgrade the mana. It's easier just to... Population growth. Yep, let's craft real quick another series of these guys. I'm only, only going to get one, huh? Well, that worked. Oh, five. I saw the one there. It's five. Okay. There, there, and there. And equip Ragna. There, yeah, Ragna is set up. And... <laughs> There's <laughs> little dialogues. <laughs> yeah, heck, while well, we're at it, let's take out a boar. We're going to need the, uh, uh, the the meat and the leather that comes out of them. They are quite the challenge, too. They'll injure us a little bit. But it's better to get that done now. Eventually, we're going to have leather armor. We're going to be thankful to have had as much leather built up as possible. It'll roll right there in his back is the leather. All right, so what else is going on here? Well... May as well pop one in here. We're going to run into level 6 here before long. And Hello. Um, I should have gone one higher. Let's, let's go up to where? Let's go here. And put in four more. While we're doing that, let's drop these guys in. You guys all need an easier way to do that. And I'm going to take you up all the way to here and see if I can go up one more. That should be enough. Otherwise, I need to get in here and replace these with stone. Let's just do the front. And he'll pop that one in. Looks like we're going to need one of these right here as well. Stone there. Nope. And he will climb up. I can go ahead and do both. Okay. So that will get that pretty much done. Got a snail that maybe just died in there and the shell hasn't vanished yet. Okay. Alright, eventually we're going to want... Hello! Oh, this isn't good. Everyone, we don't have a home. <laughs> oh boy. Um, quickly, let's get to craft. We've got goblins that just showed up. I need to get this guy somewhere. I need to get this crafted. Uh, wood. If we had a home by now, I could send them home. And they would not be in harm's way for this. But right now we could be in a little bit of trouble. So, this guy is going to go down here. Let's see if... Click hole. Come on, click. There. You're going to go right there. Why well, won't it let me do that? That's really frustrating. Okay. Then... You're going to go... Nothing is working. Why is that? Release? Oh, I got onto a dwarf. Stop that. Somehow I was controlling a dwarf. Okay. I'll explain later. I've got to get this done. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. You can click on a dwarf and control them and move them back and forth. But it cancels out the ability to do other things. What is happening here? You guys are popping back and forth up here. Do you guys really take out all those goblins? I think they did. How's their health? Three, two, three, two, two. Okay. Huh. Let's go do this. Normally I let them just kind of stew over here for a while, but I think we can pull this off. We're taking out half their tribe. And they, I believe, will gain more the longer you give them. Longer amount of time there. Um, what happened? Oh, get rid of that. Now they can go and attack. So if they're in trouble somewhere, enemies have spawned and we're dying. You can click this, they will all find the nearest portal, get back home, and there's level 6. 
Ah, we got some webs. I wonder what to use webs for. Hmm. Anyway, let's clean these guys out. So if they get overwhelmed, they will... Come on, guys, give her a hand. They will flee, which is good. Now, she... I'm not sure that she's... going to make it out of there. Uh, we don't have a bed. Okay. Did we take him out? I think we did. Let's go pound on that for a while. I think we're done with enemies. I gotta make beds, because beds is how they heal. If you had sent them home, one would then go and sleep in the bed, and, and then when you let them loose again, they wouldn't uh, respond to the battle cry. They would just heal. But now we're going to destroy their camp, which is going to dump all kinds of loot for us, and we'll haul all that loot home. Which means we're going to need three or four of those. Oh, did I really do that? I should have put it right here. We don't have to climb up and down this thing. If you want to... Where's our house? Oh, they're saying the house isn't built yet. Where's the loot? There's no loot. This should have just been a pile here. The longer you leave the goblins, the more loot collects. And apparently it's to quite an extreme. Interesting. Um, task complete. We just made the house. Which means this guy went in and this one in. And he is not happy because we don't have any comforts of home right now. But, okay, while we're here then, let's take these down. Let's drop this down. If you don't want the goblins to spawn near you, they need three squares in a row to spawn their, their little camp. Low health. Oh, just got hit there. Okay, I'm going to stop talking for a little and explaining a little bit. i got to get a, a bed built. So, we need this one. Bed. Where's home? There it is. Okay. You and... Some leaves, some wood, and we've got six dwarves. We have enough to make seven beds. Let's make all seven. And that's going to automatically drop into here, like so. She, which it, Ragna or whoever that was, is really low on health. Let's take out these. Let's take out all of this stuff. Let's put a lamp or a torch in. One, two, three, four goes right there. So we'll get to that real soon. Otherwise, they are chopping these down and taking them in and out of the portal. I wanted to get rid of this step right here and make this a little easier to get up and down. Meanwhile, bed goes here, here. Let's continue taking these out. Now, I wanted to know what this was. If this was surrounding something, if that's all just random. It's kind of looking random. It, it was odd to get an underground, oh, whatever that old, uh, you know, like a, uh, I've lost the word, a, uh, oh, it'll come to me. Anyway, a place. We'll go with that. Anyway, take these, no, take, uh, take that out first. Torch. One, two, three, four, five, or something like that. And for that matter, let's go with two through here. We'll call that good. Okay. Oh, that's going in. These are good now. We'll take that out. That's starting to expand our base in here. There, there. She's already sleeping, healing up. Need to get food going, but we've got another nighttime coming already. Feels like it's going faster than I remember. Let's do this. Take out the chicken. Do this, that, put another portal down here, take, take that out, that's going to end, and once these are cleared out, we'll go down another row. Um, we could block a lot of monsters right here, though this is probably the night that all of the skeletons are going to spawn. I'll give you a little break, it's not the first night, it's a few nights in. Once they all spawn, we're going to have skeleton ladders like crazy. In fact, even this this is going to be iffy. They may still get over this thing, I don't know. We can take them out when they do, but there is that to keep an eye on. Um, take that tree out and that tree out. And that tree out since we've got the... Uh, got that, that's just a mite, okay. Since we got the portal here anyway, may as well grab the wood. And otherwise, what's walking our way? What are you? You're a rock. 
There's a sheep. We're coming up on midnight. Midnight will be the moon up in there. So nothing crazy is happening here yet, though. Although there's the green cloud behind Mr. Goblin there. Under attack. Ah, skeletons have arrived over here. Let's give these guys some help. Yeah, grab the high ground. Good. <laughs> and dialogue tickles me. Okay, clean those out, and let's add one more round of of a portal there. I'm hearing a noise here. We'll ignore you. Gonna be coming from this side now. Hitting the moon? We're hitting the moon. Where's the? We're we gonna see them rise from the grave. Hmm. Did it happen already? Did I miss it? There's one right there. There's a group of them right here. They've all kind of stopped up there. Fisher, fisherman's book. And they didn't make it through. Okay. So we're pretty safe this time. Because they will start digging down in. We're gonna, we really need to uh, work on this area next. Down here. We're lit up enough. Yeah. Let's get another light in here. One, two, three, four, something like that. And let's replace what we can reach with replace stone. Stone's worth more than dirt, so we'll use the dirt to fill in for everything that isn't dirt. We're going to get down into iron here. There'll be coal deposits coming up here soon. I can only see so far away, so I don't see coal yet. Um, could use the stone out of that one. Oops. And what else? We'll take that tree down. And let's concentrate over here. Who's attacking whom? Oh, just this guy. Okay. And while we're at it, let's grab the roots out of here. It'll be a couple of episodes where we get to use the roots and see what's important about them. You took a long time to get up that ladder. There is a equip. A climber's book. Logger. Carpenter? No, we don't have one yet. So eventually, they come with a skill. And eventually you can start to combine skills. A fisherman might be good with a hunter, which would be good as an archer. So you might combine those three together. Or a fisherman and a swimmer. And something. And a climber. So they can climb out and, and swim across and go fishing. Yeah, something like that. We just learned about the skeleton's rusty mace, and we must... Oh, we collected one, okay. And we have a new guy here without any uh, uh, tools. So let's... What was I missing? There it was this guy. All right, grab that one and equip. So we have Floy. And Floy, 1770. We've got some better melee weapons here. So you're going to get that, that, and that. And space bar, Ragna you're going to get the Skeleton's Rusty Mace. So we've got a couple of clubs left over. Anyway, let's concentrate over here for a while. How best? I want stone through this area, which means I need to collect more stone too. Let's go in at this level right here and pop three of those in, as well as uh, right here. Let's put three of these in. All right, give me that one. Give me all of these except for that. And give me all of these. Ah, we're getting to see how this works. He... No, we don't have the skeleton with the shield, so the, no, neither of them can get over. Okay. But anyway, we're grabbing a lot of stone. And... That may have been a mistake. They seem to be able to climb that, though. So I'll leave that calm. Climb the background. Which is kind of new. They, it seems like they couldn't do that before. Just grabbed a, another Fisher book. Alright. Gold coins will show up once in a while at random. And you can use those gold coins here at Grunt's shop. Click on Grunt's shop and you can grab... Where am I? Over here. Got our categories. Basically everything you'll be able to... to um, get in your in your uh, inventory here by the end of the game is available immediately at Grunt's shop though some things are quite expensive 
we could go in and, and make the mithril axe for 30 of these. We only have six. Or just a regular stone axe if we're you know, lazy and don't want to go find stone. And for two coins, we can get one made. Um, what is advantageous in the military tab is two or three clicks in, we start getting into the potions. Now, well, a bunch of clicks in. These will improve your health. So if they're in a battle and you can't get them back, you can quickly drop one of these on them. This right here, Mana Elixir, will add mana to the game so that you can quickly get into the portal because you're out of mana and you need to get them home to safety. Then you can you know, go this route to do that. Uh, elixir of Fire, does that... Oh, launches fireballs. Okay, and that's you launching fireballs on your enemy. That's not them doing it. It's kind of odd. I would think these should all be things that the dwarves could use. But, so there's... I think five or six potions in the game. At least well, a couple of these look new to me. Anyway, that's Grunt's Market. Most anything that you could want is here. Eventually we're going to find steel, silver, gold, mithril. I can make bricks. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. But for right now, and I see this episode is starting to approach that 30 minute mark or so. Let's just clean up a few things. You're going there. We're going to take these out. We're going to finish that. Um, over here, I want to take... Oh, this is the wrong one. Never mind. Um, over here, I want to take out all the, the stuff. Take the ground down to probably this level. And then stone in as much of this as we can. And that will be... Probably, oh, there's a, someone to fight. That will be probably enough to get this episode done. But let's also... Come on, slow down. Take these guys out. And while we've got this going, let's take the rest of these out. And for that matter, let's get down a little bit lower. Like so. Now there might... No, we're, we're attacking the boar, who's not having any of it. <laughs> he's, he's not going to go down easy. Um, otherwise, we're going to be fine there. We'll take him out, if I can stop him from moving. Yeah, we'll take him too. And we're not going to get over the wall unless he goes over the wall. Sure, we'll do that. And for that matter, let's also throw one of these in. And grab him, him, him. And just to make sure they make it home, we'll grab that one as well. And that's probably yes. enough jobs stacked up to get us going. When this runs out, I'll drop it down in a much lower place. Uh, we'll take those two out. How are we doing? Here? Here. So I want these gone. These gone. That gone. Those. Those. Can't do this one until uh, uh, until the tree comes down. Now there is a speed up button. In fact, we're almost going to lose all that mana again. Um, but as you, as you can see, the game's already going too fast for me to keep up with with uh, being able to narrate. Playing the game is one thing. Narrating a game is a whole different experience. Time goes by way too fast. And you kind of lose track of time when you're narrating. It's just, it, it's, it's a different feeling. So you look up and your clock has moved 40 minutes ahead. And you're like, where'd the time go? I feel like I've only been in it for 10 minutes. Didn't get to that one. All right, that's fine. We've got some mana to blow. I'm gonna take you out. I never got back over here. Okay, let's quickly do this. <laughs> and it ended. Anyway, build those, build those, and put this in. Oops. Click and hold for a second. Do this, and actually cancel those two. We'll do these two first, and then build these two. All right, so that's going on. Let's quickly put this guy in. I want to click here and move on, and it doesn't work that way. you got to click and make sure your mouse doesn't move the entire operation of the click, otherwise it doesn't accept it. Alright, that's done, and that's kind of a waste. You can get rid of these. It's a waste. I don't think you get your mana back. We can find out. 14 is still 14, so you lose it. But there might be a time when you popped a swimmer. Good. You popped a portal in there, and then your timer runs out, and they start to pour out, and you go, oh man, why did I do that? And it used to be you couldn't get rid of them. 
So you then had to find some way to keep them from trying to go through that portal to go and grab that pile of logs right there that they really want while all these enemies are pouring in. So now they give you a way to get rid of the portal. Um, do this real quick. Build, build, nope. Build. Now do this one right. Yeah. You can replace that dirt with stone or you can put stone in front. So you got to be careful about what you click. But um, we're lit up in here enough. Nothing is forming and growing over here let's let's dig these out let's take that out let's replace this dirt with stone front let's fill this in no let's put dirt in in there first it'll be for the background and actually let's we're coming up on nighttime again oh i don't have a portal over here anymore okay one let's do two okay I'm going to take this one out so we can replace that with stone. We'll take all of these out. And replace this with stone. Actually, let's dig that out. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Uh, stone goes here. Front. That becomes stone. Build. This gets replaced with stone. I can't get there, can I? I can't get down low enough to do that. Um, we're getting too late in the day, so we're just going to put stone... Although I can replace this one. Let's replace front there. Replace front. Replace front. Let's do that. And then we'll fill those back in real quick. Okay, stone goes there. Stone goes there. And... That gives us two layers over all of this. And stone goes here. What else? That's done. That's done. So this is a little bit closer to where I would be right there in the second day without narrating. Build stone. Build stone. Otherwise, we're done in here. Um, I think we're going to skip working on this any further because there'll be skeletons walking across that. You guys are all done, so let's just give you something to do real quick. What I want to do here is go down... What was that? Um, anyway, one, two, three, and then I'm going to move over a, two levels and go down like so for the next ladder. They drop something right here. It falls forever unless you stagger these ladders back and forth. Why? Oh, we cannot do it because of the water. Well, if we dig these out, it'll spread that water out. Basically, I wanted to give them something to do. There we go. To... Uh, get them all inside. So, what are you? Oh, there's a, that's what I'm thinking of. That's a place that we're going to have to be uh, a little worried about. But anyway, let's call this one done. Under attack. Um, whoa! Call you guys back home. That's what that's for. Skeletons all just appeared, and let's kill that one. <laughs> it didn't... The timer's still there. Okay. Let's go back home and call this episode done. Everybody's pretty much safe. Yeah, they are. We got enough beds in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We have a seventh one available. And let's call this one done. There's so many things I want to do simultaneous in this game. We're building down. Eventually, we're going to be building up. We're collecting resources. We're crafting things. We're we're equipping them onto them. We're we're studying, you know, advancing our technology. There's a lot to do all at the same time. This is the easy one. So if we do get into a harder game after this series is done, I won't have to do as much explaining because all the basics will be covered. It's kind of how I work at any game. I try to spend the first series on a game going through it as a tutorial, and then afterwards I can just have the freedom to play. But with this, I'm going to call it done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.